Madison and I are here in the CBS 11 Green Room for today's Discover DFW. And I know, Madison, tomorrow is an exciting day because after six months, yes. the Fort Worth Museum of Science and History is reopening. Yes, and it's been a long awaited reopening. And they're not just going to be opening their doors, they also have some new exhibits that you get to check out. While they've been closed, it's been so a little depressing to, to not hear the, the sound of children's voices just right outside my door. The Fort Worth Museum of Science and History is finally welcoming back guests after a six month hiatus. So we've taken all this time to do actually a fairly large renovation. When guests return in person, they'll still find some of their favorite exhibits. <laughs> but there's also new hands on and interactive exhibits. Going back to the way that the museum used to be, which is hands on, encouraging their activity and, and, and kind of uh, inquiry based learning, which was hard to do in the past where you said, hey, don't touch things. Now guests are encouraged to touch, interact, and learn without restrictions, including here inside the current science studio, funded by a partnership with Facebook. What are we looking at? Yeah, so this is science on a sphere, and it's one of the brand new components here in our current science studio. And this lets us explore not just planet Earth, but the whole universe in an amazing 3D way. From Earth to Mercury to Mars. And then I can use this to steer around and explore the entire planet. Guests can see the solar system come to life. All of these views are created by real data coming back from NASA spacecraft. And we're going to be able to update what's on the sphere in real time to reflect new things that are happening in the world of science. A push towards fully digital and interactive exhibits that allow the museum to update information at the flip of a switch. In August, we might be talking about hurricanes because it'll be the start of hurricane season. And if a wildfire were to break out, we could press a button and change all of it to talk about the science of wildfires. And so we want to make a space that is totally connected to the science behind the news that we all experience every day. Bringing a museum that already had plenty of magical moments. That is so weird. Into an evolving new chapter. It's a bit of the past, a bit of the future, and, and we just can't wait to welcome you back. I'm excited to go back. It <laughs> looks like so much fun. So, Karen, the museum opens tomorrow morning at 10 a.m., and then throughout the summer, they're going to be open Fridays and Saturdays from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., and then Sundays from noon to 5. So, you've got plenty of opportunity to check them out, but they will continue to be closed Monday through Thursday so that they can do their children's schools and all of that. And she's not kidding when she says she's ready to go back. <laughs> yeah. she, you know, she's going to have to take a child with her, right? Yes. So she's going to take her one year old, one and a half year old nephew. Yes. And the Children's Museum, it's great for all ages. So there's all sorts of things from young children to teenagers yeah. that they can enjoy. That's wonderful.